in Invisible War, what we're trying to do is make the game more accessible to a larger audience. We want a lot of people playing the game uh, and getting at what we think makes Day as an expression. It's not just for the sake of technology that we're doing this. It's so, again, players can discover their own solutions to problems. They can figure out how they want to do stuff. They can shoot everything that moves. They can shoot nothing. They can talk to everyone. They can hack their way past problems using computer systems. They can figure out how to get past anything in the game the way they want to. That's critical to us. <laughs> very powerful. You can create a character with the power to run 40 miles an hour, run as fast as a car, or throw the car if, if you want to go that way, or move silently, or seek through walls, or suck the life force out of uh, dead bodies to, to heal yourself if you take damage. completely rethinking our technology. It's all new from the ground up and absolutely state of the art. The AI is much enhanced. I don't know that there's another game out there that can boast a, a comparable a collection of simulation elements. You get to make this game the kind of game you want. It's not just a shooter. It's not just a role playing game. It has elements of, of shooters. It has elements of role playing game. It even has elements of, uh, of, of strategy games. I'm